So I was the original plan mm-hmm. um, before I changed it. Yeah. I changed it back, and then I actually changed it back again. Was to kill you out here. You brought me out here to kill me? Yeah. I figured. Yeah. But I, now I'm not going to do it. There's a lot of reasons we don't got to go into it, but one of them is that I thought this was more of like a cliff situation, and it's actually like, that's like three feet. It's very shallow. <clears throat> well, yeah. It's like there's like a foot of water. Like you would have to lay down like completely like face down to even to Ooh. die under these conditions. I mean, we're out here anyway. What are we going to do? Yeah, I mean, now we got the whole afternoon free. I don't know. We'll figure something out. Okay. All right. No, I got it. Yeah? I got it. I got what we need. What's this? Are we being filmed? I'm being filmed. I never know when I'm going to do something incredible. So um, obviously at tremendous expense, I do have um, men with cameras follow me. There's a lot of people here. Man. Well, yeah. yeah that's, that, you know, like I said, it's, you know, it'll cost a hundred fucking dollars. Yeah. Right? Um, hang on a second. Foraging now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm an urban forager. Exquisite. No. So after I decided not to kill you, yeah. I started to think about sort of the circle of life. Um, and I started to think about um, Hasbro's subsidiary, Wizards of the Coast's incredible game, Magic the Gathering. Oh, yeah. I've played that. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of people have. Um, my thinking is that we could investigate uh, we could investigate a scenario whereby we play Magic the Gathering in novel locations potentially with interesting people. That sounds great. Well, yeah. th- that's the concept. That's the concept I have. You know what it's called? Magic show. No. Oh. You know what it's called? I don't. I just guessed. The Magic Hour. <laughs>